Arun Yaya, An Invitation to the Truth The Invalidity of Claims Regarding Deep Impact Having suffered a huge rout on the subject of the beginning of life, Darwinists sought refuge behind the idea of outer space when they realized they could not account for it in terms of this earth. Deep impact is the false scientific name given to the myth that life came from space, espoused by Richard Dawkins. Darwinists placed their hopes in outer space out of total despair. They believed that all the questions about their theories of the origin of life would thus be solved. But the essential problem still remains in this new theory they have invented. How did the first molecule assumed to have formed and replicated itself in space emerge? That question is still unanswered. Factors such as the complexity of proteins, the fact that they are extraordinary structures that could never come into being spontaneously, the fact that the atmospheric conditions in which Darwin has claimed that life on Earth emerged are invalid and the presence of large quantities of oxygen in that atmosphere have extinguished all such hopes on the part of Darwinists who believed they could account for the beginning of life in some way. For that reason, Darwinists who place their hopes in creatures from space have to accept that in one sense they have no explanation to offer. Depicting this as a logical theory is a really pitiful state of affair for Darwinists to be in. In espousing the theory in question, Richard Dawkins, who is equally despairing, has been forced to accept the possibility that life was created by a superior intelligence somewhere in space. The idea of outer space is proof of the end of Darwinism. Darwinism has clearly reached the end of the road with that claim because it is an emission of despair. The lack of any explanation for the beginning of life has demolished Darwinism. In talking about chance and outer space, Darwinists appear to have run out of nonsensical and humiliating options. Darwinists are of course aware of the illogicality of this claims. Of course they are aware of an illogical claim they are espousing and how embarrassing this is for them but they are willing to be humiliated for the sake of their ideology. Because to admit that life was created by a consciousness would mean to admit the existence of Allah. And that is the truth they really cannot accept, that they oppose with all these ludicrous claims. The fact is, however, that it is a great blessing to see the existence of Almighty Allah by examining the scientific evidence. Every marvel of creation and miracle in nature imparts its own unique delight. By Allah's leave, this century will be one of science and faith. When all these ludicrous claims come to an end, when the glory of Allah is praised, when there is splendid progress in science, and when the evidence of the fact of creation is seen in a most glorious way. www.harunyahya.com dot com.